volunteer here at the Citizens Committee for Historic Preservation in Las Vegas. Las Vegas uh, was founded in 1835 principally by people from San Miguel del Vado. Almost all of them were simple farmers that farmed along the Pecos River. And by 1835, that small community had become too crowded and people were looking for other places to establish uh, farms and communities. They came to Las Vegas uh, area in the 20s, but the Indian uh, pressure was so severe that it was only about 1838 or 1839 that they built up enough uh, uh, defensive ability to be able to stay here 12 months a year. One of the uh, factors that made this town different than most of that sort was that we're right on the Santa Fe Trail. So from the very early days, it was both an agricultural and a, uh, a travel uh, town. In other words, lots and lots of freight and other things came through the town from the very, very beginning. And that gave an added dimension and it created lots and lots of wealth. The town was founded on agriculture and later with the Santa Fe Trail and the railroad, it became a major transportation center. And it was in the 1920s where both those uh, mainstays of the economy began to erode. The uh, transportation went away as a consequence of building railroads over the plains instead of over the mountains. That took most of our transportation business to uh, Albuquerque and Belen. At the same time, it became very, very clear that other regions were more uh, suited for, major, for uh, large scale agriculture. We did have, starting in 1920, what was called the Story Lake Project or the Story Project. And the idea was to bring in many, many farmers, mostly from the Midwest, and they were going to grow uh, vegetables, uh, sugar beets, and other kinds of major crops. They came in, they uh, planted and they had bumper crops. What they discovered though is there's no local market and the transportation costs were prohibitive and by uh, 1930 many, maybe most of those farmers had given up. Some of them moved away. The ones that stayed turned to other kinds of endeavors here in town. So during the 20s and 30s the town changed more or less into what it is today.